Hey, welcome to Survivor with Jay, Jack, and Colleen. My name is Jay. My name is Colleen. And I'm Reem, and I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the show. Well, uh, if anyone listened to our uh, preseason predictions uh, podcast earlier in the I think we all week, got a tally point tonight. Uh, yes, uh, we, we looked at Reem's kind of before season <laughs> interviews. Let, let's just say Reem will Reem somebody out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think I think... We all uh, were we're on that. Well, page. who knew who knew that she was going? I'm getting echo now. Oh, that'll go away. Okay, who knew that she was going to take people's clothes and shoes and just decide she was going to dry them out? I, I think we all could have seen something like that coming without telling anybody, and, and and didn't understand that might be a problem, especially the first day. I will say that's probably why she was giving everybody mom vibes because that's what moms do is they just they're be kind annoying of annoying. I don't know any moms that would go. Uh, my mom wouldn't do that. Go take and my mom is pretty headstrong. She wouldn't go take people's clothes and shoes without telling them. No, no, but she would dry take, them out. She would. I don't know. I mean, my mom. Pro- I think my mom did it. I've done it. Like go around, you pick up your kids' clothes. I your did kids it today. Cl- your kids' clothes. Exactly. Like I think she sees them all as like her kids, and just wasn't able to differentiate. No, no I think she just she just wants to do what she wants to do, and and people don't like their stuff touch. Ask Francis Sawyer. That is well, that is true. <laughs> oh, so speaking of Sawyer, I was really kind of waiting for you to say, "Guys, where are we?" As your name. Because that's how that? oh, that's yeah. how the episode ends. Where she's like, "Where am I?" Oh uh, yeah, but I don't think she said, "Guys, where are we?" No, but uh, there's a Jack would have made the connection and made the joke. That's eh, a bit of a stretch. Yeah. Th- okay. There's a lot of things that are a bit of a stretch. But I was, I, wait, I was waiting for a torch to go out because you probably you know it's raining and I, I, my my thought was, "Well, you better build a fire quick." Well, they they should have had some type of like little wireless control for the the thing because that would have been a cool shot. It was ki- it was really well shot the whole Extinction Island thing. Like it seemed yeah. like a movie kind of or like a yeah. Blair Witch kind of movie, and it would have been neat if like the last scene was like whew, the light goes out and it's just pitch black. Like that would have been yeah. a cool kind of close. But it was still, I for me thinking that this concept's going to be hokey. A lot of the, the things they've added lately have been kind of hokey. I will say I kind of dug the uh, Extinction Island bit and well, how they did it's, it, presented okay, it's, it. It's, it's cool once, but is it going to be cool the whole season? I, 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 I'll say this. I think it I said was cool. it, the other thing. If if they if this doesn't work, let's stop doing this. Well, I mean, well, okay. I thought. It, all right. Well, I, I mean, can let's I, hold our opinions off. Well, 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 well I want to talk about it. Well, it's I know what you mean. Pre- present on my mind. So anyway. Um, if it's what if they kind of make it like a uh, survivor man or whatever that you know like in the wilderness kind of thing where they have to just like make it and I don't I think it could be cool like you, the thing kind of made it hokey was the stupid battle every single week whatever like I feel yeah. like there's a way yeah. to make this an entertaining sideshow that's like a like a a, a B storyline or, or Colin you know the editing thing but maybe it's like a C or D storyline that that you can kind of follow what's the, what's the odds of the Central Park Pier taking the chance to go <laughs> <laughs> no she's there, going there's, home. there's no way I mean she, she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna take the easy way and go okay I'm just gonna go to Ponderosa there's no way and, and yeah I mean I think that that's interesting too like they can choose like ah, and I'll, okay. I, I, I'll say this too I'll have no respect for any of them if they take that route. And what if you're like just beat and you're done? I don't. I don't care. I mean, I, I, I don't. I don't, think I don't as far I, as say I, no I, respect. No, it, unless they're got a limb hanging off them. I don't. They better uh, hmm. con- continue to fight. Sure. I mean, not everybody's you, Jack. All right, well, the, why waste it? I've, I've said that a thousand. When they all quit, why waste the spot? Well, because you don't know. Like you just don't know what it's going to be like till you're there. I, I don't care. It's I, easy I for quit. you to to armchair quarterback this. I'm armchair. But... I'm, I'm saying I would. I would not quit. Um, and it, and it's good to know you wouldn't quit. And you know, if you ever get on the show, you have you know you know hours and hours of uh, audio and video archival footage saying you would never quit. So yeah. you better you know, hope be you never quit. I, I get on the boat, <laughs> they throw the food over. I quit. <laughs> I'm out of here. This is harder. It's harder than I thought or, it would be. Or there's a challenge where we have to like sleep with rats, which is what they do every single night. Like I don't know. I feel like. 
You're saying you never quit, Jack, but you don't well, know till you're there. Yeah, well, you, you, know, well, you sleep with the rats, but you 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 kind of get in the middle there, so the odds of getting bit are getting you know. Uh, if you get bit, you get bit. What if they're just crawling on you? What if they're like in your mouth? In my mouth. That's why you put the uh, the, 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 the buff uh, buff over your face. Well, then you can't breathe. <laughs> well, it's better than having a rat in my mouth. <laughs> well, that's why you don't throw the food. Around around camp, you take it into the woods of the area and throw it in there. Um, anyway, mm-hmm. uh, an entertaining first episode. Uh, Colleen, uh, as always, puts together a fantastic recap. Um, also, do we have any listener feedback in? I mean, we're recording this right after the episode, so it may be early to tell. By the time we get out of the recap, we might know a better uh, thing there. But um, we are back. We took last season off to kind of recoup uh having a young or uh, second child to the family kind of wore us out a little bit so colleen and i need to take a break jack was raring to go i was um, fine I, I i felt good yeah jack even though he's like you know what sleep uh, there you had the one sign saying hey do you want to continue podcasting <laughs> and the other sign was like no i want to take the easy way out and just quit that was me i was because colleen, colleen would have done I, it I, if i was in so you put everybody can blame me because I was like, I need a break. Because I grabbed the torch, went to the left, looked behind me. There was no one with me. <laughs> yeah, Jay doesn't do well with no sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're like your mom. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not but that's a... the thing is, you never like somebody could have like gone through like a horrible monsoon or something out there. You know, had gastrointestinal distress and then just be like <laughs> completely gassed and wiped out and. You know, be given the choice and have a moment of weakness. And be like, I'm just done. So you I never don't think it's know. A moment of weakness. I just think it's like, you know what? I'm good. I've had my fill. Because you don't even know what it is. It could be really lame. Quitter. I'm out. Uh, we actually have three emails so Honestly, far. Perfect. So we'll, we'll have listener feedback, and uh, we will tally the votes. Colleen and Jack's favorite part of Survivor: Jay, Jack, and Colleen. Um, yeah. And- somehow we'll, we'll we'll get all the. Them right up until the end, and then Jay will somehow win the game. Oh my god, I don't think I've won the past couple times. It's been you guys. So again, all you do is whine and complain because it's just it's how it's how it's like the same as breathing for some people. It's kind of the same as Reem being a pain in the neck. But anyway, uh, before we get into that, I want to thank people that make this show possible. Our patrons over at patreon.com slash Jay and Jack. Uh, we just crossed the thousand dollar threshold again. We went down and went back up. And uh, since our reward was still uh, broadcast, uh, Ramblecast crossover, I believe we'll, we'll do a part two, a part D. Or we can come up with something even more awesome. Well, I mean, I'm do maybe two things. Who knows? Uh, but part of that is uh, something new since the Jane Jack show uh, was reborn uh, with Jack and I uh, yes. each week. Uh, having some Jane Jack fun as well as a special new guest every single week. Uh, we think we're our, we just finished up one with Chip Mims. Uh, from Tales from the Cask, uh, among many other things. Uh, and just a heads up to p- future guests, Chip uh, gave us beer. <laughs> the bar is pretty high. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, part of what we brought with this new show is doing bonus episodes for our patrons that give $5 or more a month. Uh, our first bonus show is coming up because we completed four episodes, so content that didn't make it into... Uh, the the final airing of the Jane Jack show will be a part of that bonus episode once a month. The Ramble Cast is doing an extra show every single week well, for the, uh, well, the no, patrons. Three of the three of the four for the live show. We're not going to do okay. Ex- so, extra. but still, that's awesome. So, if you love the Ramble Cast, um, and there's people that always say like, "Oh, make it seven hours." Well, this is your opportunity <laughs> to get. No, you'll, you'll still get the same amount of content as you were getting. It's just actually, actually it's shorter. Yeah. Um. So uh, I think they're. Call, I think uh. They. I think Nick came up with the idea to call it the extension or something like that. Or I, an extra inch wasn't that? Excellent. It was something. It was something like that. It, it's. It's. That's it's what different. I marketed as in all the Patreon stuff. I put it as the RCAD extended, and then I called it the extension of. Yeah. But that's because I think I read it from Nick. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So if you if you want uh, uh, that extra conversation, I mean, I don't know if I personally would want it, but there's people out there that always ask for more and more. Uh, if you get five dollars or more a month, you will get those bonus episodes as and you can, well. And you can find out what dryers, drugs, and what's it? Dryers, drugs, and porn means dryer, drugs, and porn. Oh wow. Um, and then Colleen, I believe the broadcast wants to do a couple bonus. I don't know how we're just doing bonus is. content in general. Uh, we're not going to record. 
I don't think we're going to do extensions like well, you, do. you You guys edit, right? So Yeah, so I've been, for the last month, I've been taking out a uh, few minutes here and there, and then so I'll, I'll see what we can come up with. similar to what Jane with. Jack show is doing. Yeah, similar. Uh, bonus content that maybe didn't make the final edit of the show, but it's yeah, still Yeah, the, the RCAD just records for like an hour and five minutes, stops, and then records again. So still, a lot of great stuff, that uh, new things that we're doing for our patrons, because you all make these shows possible by yeah, contributing... Everybody. Um, and, uh, yeah, we hope you enjoy the stuff. Uh, and I don't, I don't know if we'll do a bonus show for Survivor, but we'll see. Who knows? The yeah. idea might come to us. Yeah. Um, all right. You know, or, or we'll take the easy way out. You know what? Play. All right. Our next Johnny Fairplay interview, just for the patrons. <laughs> 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 and you know what? I will sit out of it. <laughs> oh, man. Um, he's and, def- uh, he's def- at least it, you know, he's, he's an interesting guest. And just uh, so everyone is aware, the Jane Jack show does uh, uh, middle of the show commercials. Um, so any show that I'm doing, I'm going to consciously uh, have mid roll commercials. So don't be alarmed; they should be introduced. Um, and I think I think everybody's starting to do it now on, on the Jane Jack Network. So um, it, it's it's a great another great way to help support the show. And we're, we'll try and limit as much as possible because there's some. And again, there's some podcasts I love, but they have like 72 commercials, and it gets really annoying. And we're only going to have um, 71. Yeah, exactly. Like, I love the new Conan show, but he has like seven hours of commercials. Um, and it's, it's then you at that point, you're just skipping. You're not even listening to him anymore. So, uh, but still, uh, all good things for the network. You just, to make you just want healthy. you just want everything for free. No, no, not at all. But at a certain point, as a listener, I'm like, all right, enough. Let's get to the good stuff. That's why I'm listening to podcasts. I don't have to listen to 100 commercials. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, don't most people have their premium episodes as being ad free? So yeah. if you want, if you want it for free, you got to listen to the ads. All Ready. right, uh, Colleen, let's take it away for your recap. All right then. Uh, let's. I feel like I'm kind of rusty with this. Survivor season 38, Edge of Extinction. Episode one, it smells like success. <laughs> it was me. So, yeah. <laughs> so you elected to read it like uh, the middle school book report? Yes. <laughs> I'm putting on my mom voice. <laughs> I Be careful. Them. You're going to vote me out of this early. podcast. You, you got to have a lot of, you got to have a lot of, and um, yeah. and um. <laughs> no vote me out of the podcast I'll go over to the bonus content <laughs> and fight my way to get back in <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I love that idea there's our bonus content idea that's perfect for this season to, to match with Edge of Extinction each week one of us could get voted out and then we have to do our own solo podcast for like five week. minutes and then and then uh, and then we'll come back that's fine i i that's fine i don't trust i think jay would just go nah i'm good no I'll he would bring it. zach in and be like zach talk about the challenge <laughs> oh, did zach watch it tonight no but we told him that he could watch it tomorrow oh, okay yeah, he's he's got an earlier bedtime these days. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> back when we were terrible parents, we let him go to sleep at nine on Wednesdays. <laughs> now we get him all asleep at seven. <laughs> oh man! Anywho, and, yeah. All right, <clears throat> keeping the task, Colleen. All right, eighteen players <laughs> get on a boat. Uh, we meet War Dog, the lawyer, but he doesn't want any. He's pre. He's going to be a lawyer. Doesn't want anyone to know. We have Wendy, the big super ultra fan, and you know you never know what's going to happen. Just like in her life, and blah blah blah. And then we we're introduced. Well, we find out she has a Tourette's earlier. We right? do, yeah. but we don't find that out until the okay. next scene. Uh, uh, and, and you know what? I really, I really like Wendy's enthusiasm. I think that she brings like a lot of personality to the show and it's like a very happy vibe i like her vibe yes but i think she even kind of admits her her faults where she does and we'll get to that too yeah because i did i did make note of that but i'm just saying i really like the the vibe that she's the tribe name for in... the blue team again i know, uh, the, I know the one's comma manu manu manu, manu. manu. Yeah. Okay. Mon- comma, 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 comma. Yeah, I feel like we're going to say that like a million, because I was saying it as I saw it. Oh, I kept show. saying car- Team Karma in my head. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, that's my me. God. There's a there's a Survivors. That's next season. Survivor. <laughs> Survivor karma. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> because Ghost Island was a kind of lame premise. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, and then you vote one off. <laughs> yeah. 
But anyway. Anyway, so Joe is back. He knows he's going to have a target. And Kelly and is back. And uh, I, I just mentioned well, the them team, because... You have, you have Kelly and, and, and David and are on David, that side. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting to see both teams, as they're kind of getting to their island for the first time, how they're res- being or responding to can the, we, the we, returning say, players. Yeah, can and talk- I just... Can we talk about how they the, the contestants were the first timers were the new, newbies were acting on the boat? Yes, so that's what I was actually going to say is <laughs> I like I mean Division One, Lord, aka I know that we're all going to get there with the nicknames and the and the regular names, but just so you know, Lauren the brunette that is like the college student Wentworth friend person. I'm calling her Division One right now. So <laughs> okay. Division yeah. One was good. like losing her S when she saw Joe and <laughs> Wentworth. Like she was oh my okay. godding. Hold on. To another Hold level. on. Hold on. She if was you were squeeing, on, if, if you, you were on the boat and Ken is a ten was coming <laughs> in on the boat so, don't tell me you wouldn't be getting a little weak in the knees. I would be like, Ken, just smile at me. Don't talk seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't. You can't show it. I know. I know. But I'm just. I'm kind of calling Collins. Now, if if you want to, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to stroke their egos, if you want to, you know, because maybe, uh, maybe that's Joe, the angle. You're the you're the greatest. You know, once you're on, no, but individually, you don't sure. want to do it in front of everyone. Oh my god! Oh my god! Because what are you set? What are you showing your your fellow? Uh, yes. Well, contestants? Remember, oh, they're they're going to fall all over this guy. I need to get her out. Remember the uh, preseason interviews? They're all super fans. So they're totally, all they're super playing fans. So it's the okay. Character. Yeah, it's like totally cool. But I anyway. get that, but don't be a stupid I, I know, fan. I know. I know. Anyway, so uh, they break them up, and as we say, Joe and Aubrey go to one team, and Kelly and David go to another team. And I like how they put like the two. I mean. There's the joke that Wentworth is kind of like uh, klutzy or whatever, like the fan joke, I think, is a thing. But I like that they put, like, you know, the more athletic Joe and Kelly on one side with the more people not it's as Joe known. Joe and Aubrey on one side. Yeah, Aubrey, yeah, 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 yeah. So then Aubrey and David, were, so they put two athletics and two brains, yeah. Yeah, so they, to speak. They, well, no, well, no, 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 no. Not yeah, they, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. They oh, broke them up. They didn't. Yeah. I did. I said they put <laughs> Kelly and Joe hey, on two on, different hold teams. On, hold, on, hold on a second. I, I vote myself off. <laughs> <laughs> wait, can I vote my? Wait, can I vote myself off too? <laughs> sure. Because <laughs> I was, I was, I was confused also. Okay. Yeah, you said it. I mean, again, I don't. I, didn't, I don't want to say. That, I didn't say it wrong. You heard it wrong. I don't want to say that you're gonna get voted out first, Colleen. But <laughs> the tribe has spoken. Just put down the machete. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. I also. But have... if you could take my clothes off the sand, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> you know what? Just for that, I'm leaving all of your clothes on the floor. <laughs> Because I pick your stuff up too. Yeah, I say that knowing that you do the laundry in this house, but <laughs> and that you leave socks everywhere. Gotta love me. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our faults. Yeah, exactly. Nobody's all right. Perfect. Anyway, so well, so we have the stronger competitors on the same team, but they're on different teams. No, right? So they're both. So no, I'm saying you have Kelly and Joe on two together different teams. On two different. No, teams. you have the yeah. two strong people. Oh my god, the See, team is confusing. Da- you have David and have- Aubrey on the same team. <laughs> But they're on different so you have teams. Dave and Aubrey, they're both weak. They're on the. <laughs> not, I didn't say weak. I said historically not the more athletic. I know, but the way the you're presenting it, it was whatever. Just confusing. Okay, so they split them up. They didn't stack it like you know two athletic con- yes, uh, yeah. former whatever. We just wasted way too much time on this. That's fine. All right. I, I thought it was. It's probably podcasting gold. Yeah, I, I mean, this is like this is <laughs> a. I mean, again, we're not we're not vying for. Uh, most educated survivor podcast. So. <laughs> no, we're as not, our t- we'll never be the historians. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. As our tagline goes, well, it was your tagline. I'm just here. It was uh, survivor podcasters whose knowledge are, is from a different island. Put up, <laughs> uh, I think shut up, Tim came up with that a long time Who's ago. Who's that? Oh, I don't know. Who that I is. know. Really? Um, yeah. Well, can we take it off? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think it has been. <laughs> uh, anyway, so whatever they do, the whole. Uh, the things in the boat thing, and Keith almost drowns. And uh, yeah, learn, learn how to swim, guys. Before you go, on. I learn, know you would start think. fire and we swim. Pretty quick back on the thing, so maybe he, like he just freaked out. Like he, I think, I think, he, I think he had floaties on. I think that <laughs> coconut floaties, co- co- coconut floaties, because he, literally he did almost drown. <laughs> 
Yeah, I know. He was flapping good. around like it yeah. is. It is when you get into rougher water and you're not used to it. It can be, especially if you don't know how to swim. It is overwhelming. Because yeah. I mean, okay, so yeah. uh, and then he was—he's a final three pick for me, so I was a little worried for a second there. But yeah, I think he, but he proved that he has some smarts, as we'll yeah. find out later on. So then he was the, messing his mom. Ron, who is the teacher of teachers, finds a secret <laughs> advantage. We go over to the Manu tribe for day one. Uh, Camp is doing introductions. Um, Rick, a.k.a. Dad Bod, is excited to show everyone how tough he can be. Yeah, news anchors are tough for the win. He looks. He looked a lot like Jared from Subway today. Oh, come on. I, I, I forgot I, about that joke. I, and now it's, you're not a jo- it it's, not, it's not a joke. I mean, I, I, kept, I don't think he I looks like him. Yeah, he's making I, his case to get voted off. I, yeah. I can't. I can't. I couldn't help. I can't see. It. Just that's all I see. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, I I I liked him, but I didn't like I liked him in his interviews, as we know, and I did not like him in his confessionals today. Like, uh, I didn't L- like that. Cocky. Yeah, I didn't like that he was kind of mean about the team swimming lessons crew. But oh, I don't think he was that. Mean. He was. Wait, wait, I don't mean. think he was mean. I think he's. I think he, what he's trying to do is 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 put people. You know, yeah, he's smartly in, like segmenting hey, people there, out. There's of the there's thing. Th- there's three people out there. Are yeah, they, you know, there's. It, he was actually just putting the, you know, any any He's target the heat on, on him, somebody else. Yeah, but that's that was brilliant. Actually. I think that's the right move. I mean, you hear players all the time say it could be the simplest, stupidest little yeah. thing on those first, you know, first day, couple of days, but th- you can just make the stupidest little thing. Right, like Wentworth pointed out, like you don't have yeah. any relationships really with people yeah. three days in. So I I I think that was a good move because that's an easy that's an easy way to get the target off your back. Because we said else. how many times we said that you never want to. Put yourself. We've seen, you know, people who call themselves the greatest, you know, survivor fans in the world, and what they do, they get themselves with two people, mm-hmm. and what happens? They get voted off. Are yep. you referring to Max and Shireen? I, I'm not saying, <laughs> that. but yes, those two. But it, it, it happens almost every season where people just they just click to, and it also hurts them at the at the end. Yeah, because someone goes, "You never even th- took time to figure out who I was and talk to me." <laughs> yeah, I know those people, but um. Going back to the Manu tribe, uh, Wentworth and Manu, Dave Manu. Manu Manu. Is it Manu Manu? I don't Manu? know. I just said Manu Manu tribe. Manu, 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 Manu. They kind of played like manure in that tri- in that uh, challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Again, I'll be here all night. <laughs> Unless Colleen in the lead again. <laughs> uh, anyway, Wentworth and David can't trust anybody, um, but Kelly wants to get an alliance uh, from the get go and not have to play from the bottom again. Um, and she has to get to know them on a human level. So she's, you know, kind of helping around camp. Um, David is also uh, thrilled that people are asking him for advice because he was worried that they would have a bad perception of him as, you know, the dude who was scared of everything. I love David. He's one of my favorite I do. Characters. I love David. Or, or I should just say he's a human being, but in terms of playing a character. But um, they were playing the Dodo music for this scene, though. So is were he, they? I didn't yeah, even catch that. I was the, taping so hard. And they had a scene like where she laid down the machete and he jumped because of the yeah. Noise. I did see that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so like I don't I don't know. It, it, I'm not I'm not an edit uh, expert like you I are, can't Colleen, believe I'm but. I am so I'm like I am so out of out of practice here out of shape. I know. I should have learned how to swim before getting back into the. Yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> disappointed to be honest. I should have learned. I should have brushed up on my edic. It's been a year. You're definitely older than me, and a mom. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm out, and I pick up your socks all over the house. C O L L E E M. No, no, no. If you were a Survivor player voting me out, you would spell it C-O-L-I-E-N or something yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd have to misspell your name. <laughs> or L-E-A-N. I don't know. I don't even know you well enough to know how to spell your name. <laughs> Who's the one guy that put the nickname one time and Jeff goes, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> who was that? That's right. I, I can't remember. It was a while ago, but I, I remember Jeff's face was just like, because Jeff doesn't like to joke around. Um. Okay, I, I yes, feel, let's, let's back on let's track. Let's move on from these intros on the Ion. Yeah, we got well, the down. last intro that we really have okay. is Wendy and her Tourette's. She's got the yes. motor and nonverbal yeah. 
uh, ticks. Yeah. Um, and she hopes to have a good social game, but she's awkward and she knows she doesn't vibe with people easily. So here's what we were talking about earlier where I think she gives great confession. I, well, not great confessionals. I think she gives very engaging, personable confessionals. Yeah. Um, but I don't know how easily that would translate to her talking to people except for when we did see this later on and she didn't do such a great job talking to people. Well, it's not so much she, I, th- I think she communicated fine. I just think she was... Stubborn. Stubborn and she, not kind of going with the flow, which, which she needed. Because I think and, you go back to last season. Was it Christian, the tech guy? Yeah. Uh, yes. So, like, again, maybe a little bit socially awkward. You maybe think couldn't... But he, like, he went in and he kind of put himself in uncomfortable situations he maybe wasn't used to and and made himself a part of, of the team and maybe trusted some people too much. But still, like, I think... You can maybe if you have social awkwardness, I think, you know, he's a good template. There's a, a lot of players that are good templates to look at to like how do you approach the game to maybe. Well, well the out problem I had with again with Wendy, she says she's a super fan. She watches every episode. Mistake, you don't go there and say you can say I'm gonna stick with Reem no matter what. Yeah, but you don't true. tell them you're doing that. Yeah, right. If the majority is saying we're gonna vote off Reem, you go, all right, yeah, I can go that way. Yep. It's Survivor. You, you're supposed to lie. Yeah. And, and especially on day one when people don't know you. Mm-hmm. And if they're all saying, yeah, we need to get rid of her. Yeah. So you can try to make a case to keep her. But yeah. uh, if I'm the first day, first two days, yeah, I'm good with that. Yep. Even, if yep. I'm, even if I'm not going to vote that way. Absolutely. That's yeah. what I'm telling people. Um, don't let no, don't let people know your alliances or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they all knew, but be like Keith. But don't where, confirm it. Yeah, Keith was kind of was like, all right, this is not vibing so well over here. So let me go and feel out everybody else because obviously, mm-hmm. this group of three are the odd men out. Right. So she kind of didn't pick up on that. And I don't Keith know. Keith made a great move. Wendy made a terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Yep. All right. um, over at the other tribe, I'm not going to do all the introductions, Thank but you. we do have um, Joe wants to put the Joey Amazing thing away, even though people are asking him like what to do. Um, and it seems like people like Aurora, who is my final three pick, right? Yes. Is thrilled to have him there because he's making fires and uh, building the shelters. And, and then we, we find out in the next scene that um, your firefighter dude, what's his name? Yeah, Chris? Uh, Eric. Eric and Devin. He's a final three Devin? pick for me, and I think he had a fantastic start and throughout the episode, I... a great performance. Eric Halfman. It's, 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 it's one episode. I don't want to call my shot for who my pick to win it all is going to be at the end of I this think episode. I, I think, I, I, think I, said, I had Aurora winning it all, right? No. Uh, no, Colleen had as a final three pick. I had a final three. I think uh, we all... Did we all have No, Victoria? Jack and I were pre-merged for Aurora because she was the one that said she gets in a fight like within five seconds. Well, so did oh, Reem. Okay, and then, okay, okay, yeah. But so did Reem, and Reem actually just got into a fight with it. Colleen seconds. went final three because, again, she held on to her three too long and had to pick one with like three left. I sure did. That's right. So Eric and Gavin... Um, Late, you know, in the next scene, you know, they kind of build this rapport um, because Gavin eats fried pickles. He's so southern. He's so country. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I eat pickle chips every time I go to our local restaurant. And I'm not uh, country. Yeah. When he said he was what's because he asked him, what's the countryest thing you do? I eat fried pickles. I'm like going, huh. I ain't country. Yeah. I go, huh, that's pretty, that's pretty country. Fried squirrel toes, that's country. That's country. <laughs> no, squirrel stew. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Any, any type of squirrel something. Yeah. yeah, fried. Pickles. That would have been Let's country, but here. fried pickles. Uh, you lost me on that one. Pineapple. Right, you shirt. can get those in New York, yeah. New York City. <laughs> you can get them any. I think you get them anywhere. Fried pickles. I, they're not yeah. West Coast. Whenever I, they're West not Coast so much a Northeast out. thing either. I, I think they're probably like a more of a Southern thing, but they're not a country I'm sh- I'm sh- thing. I'm sure you can get them in San Diego. All right. Anyways, anyway, moving on. moving on. This is how the shows go long. No, they go long because you waste too much time. On I don't reading, waste too much time on the recap. On. We're I've been quiet the whole time. Just can't, we want to make sure your last moments here on the show are good. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Fantastic. <laughs> Shouldn't have a knife or anything, does she? <laughs> no, but I am holding a a hair a hair tie a that I will a hair scrunchie that I will flick at Jay's face. Knock those glasses off your face. He anyway, already poked himself in the eye twice with those glasses. But trying to he them. has. He has. That should have been bonus content. Just seeing James' <laughs> reaction. It, no, I don't think I was recording yet. Otherwise, no. feel free. All right. Anyway, so yeah, they want to keep... They decide that they want to 
get Aubrey out but keep Joe around as a shield. So do we Makes think sense. that this is kind of Joe's destiny? I know, Jack, you're like, get rid of him right away. But what do you? how do you feel about the keep him around because he's a threat and you want to have a man shield? I'll, I'll, I'll say it again. If any of the four people, four returners, make it to and win – None of the people that are on this game right now should make it back. Should be invited not back. Not win, but keeping him around beyond oh, the initial around, vote. The, the, the yeah, I think that's that's what I'm shield, asking. The, is, the, you can keep him in the shield, but you got to be careful because Joe can be good at the challenges. He well, can, as we saw, literally nobody else is good at balance beams. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe did, Joe, Joe did the balance beam and the rope. Yeah, and, but uh, Eric, Eric did it as well. Eric did Hashtag it too. Just saying. But I'm saying for his tribe, Joe Joe did both the tough ones. Uh yes yeah well, so, that's what I'm saying I think you keep him around because he like again his this is his third time right so the two other times that he's done the show uh he hasn't been able to uh Ozzy or Mike or whatever like win out on the um, challenges he kind of eventually like falters and wavers yeah he does he he has weaknesses he that's does. right he, there was so that challenge he, he, where he almost got medevaced by Doctor yeah because yeah. so I I to me like I'm not worried about him lingering on or because you're gonna have your chances to get rid of him use him as a shield. Like my That's future, strategy, my future winner pick, Eric. I think he's got the right mindset here uh, with Gavin, and I think it's a good strategy. It's yeah, I would. I would you make a winner pick it. But they, they huh? Uh, Sorry, I just realized we didn't actually make our winners pick. That's why I couldn't remember mine. Yeah, exactly. It's, that's why I said future winners. I know. Pick. That's no. what made me remember. <laughs> okay, I can do my confessional now. Okay, so her head's okay. just not in the game. I don't know where she is right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. Like you know, I'm thinking of all the laundry I have to vote. She obviously later. hasn't done this podcast in a season. I I just worry that I may have to vote her off tonight. <laughs> I'm thinking about all the laundry that I have to fold and put away later. <laughs> I don't want to say, Colleen, that you have to find the secret hidden podcast immunity idol <laughs> or start looking for it. But... All I'm saying is you've been a, you've been doing daddy daycare for the last five days, and there are clothes and toys everywhere. Ugh, I know. I need these kids out of my house so I can clean it up. <laughs> We have six children. Oh, well, just one, but Zach, was, they had a three-day week. It's six anyway. days. I'm on six days now of this house full of children that I'm taking care of. No, no, because yes. on Saturday, we only had one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but still, I've had... And anyway. he was easy and adorable. Mm, debatable. All right, anyway. Moving on. Moving on. Moving um, on up. <laughs> Oh, I met, I forgot to mention how Julie uh, learned how to like chop a branch in half with a machete, and she talked about peeing in Central Park once. It's yeah. called machete. Um, <laughs> so we did get another. She, I, did, she like, did almost lose a leg on the first hack, though. That's true. So I think Ron, was it Ron? Did he say, "Oh, golly, oh"? Uh, well, Colleen, uh, I don't want to pressure you, but you have ten minutes left. For um, can we just have like a tally, a separate tally of how many times Julie mentions peeing in Central Park? All right, one. That's why I, I, you you coined her the Central Park Pier. I think that's what we should just call it. Yeah, yeah, the Central Park Pier. Um, okay, so Ron. Speaking of Ron, he thinks that Kama is off to like the best start ever, which Joe right. kind of agrees with because he also has this you know moment where he's talking about how they're all like vibing really great. But Ron the best is like, start in Survivor history. Yeah, he's like all over it. Hashtag, you know. Ha- hashtag, he'll be voted out soon. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but so he awkwardly runs off to read the advantage, and he finds mm. right like that was. Jay was like, why would you like stump fumble around with an excuse? Why don't you just be like, yo, I got to go poop? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Question, I, right? I said the same thing. I go, why do you have to read it now? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he, so he has that advantage. And then advantage. he finds it and he like rolls over around <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> like a dog? Oh, I found it. He's like a dog that's excited yes. that he maybe, had maybe his he bone buried. A, he was trying to build an underground sh- spy shack. So like, <laughs> it's just about this. I was just like, dude. <laughs> Like, come on. <laughs> Good for you, though. You got a you know, menu, taster's choice, uh, advantage. But it's only the first three, which I dig, where you know they can't take it and then sit on it for 10 weeks. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, the I think it was he could steal a challenge reward um, for his team. He could get an extra vote or get individual immunity. I think we're all thinking individual immunity is probably the best way to go, unless you make it to the third tribal council and you don't you actually go safe. to... Or 
uh, and then yeah, he's safe team, and he uses for it for the team. Yeah. But the only risk for using it for your tribe is then the team be like, oh, you're shady. I didn't know you had this. You know, yeah. That kind of crap. Right. right. I mean, it's kind of a lose-lose no matter what you do. You did it for the tribe and then the tribe doesn't trust you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway. But you, but you can't tell anybody you have it. No. No, I mean it's it's tough it's a tough thing. It just you got it depends on how your relationships are going. I just found this on the way to tribal. Uh, but Colin, let's uh, <laughs> let's move along here. Can we get to the challenge? Yes, I was actually saying let's move on to the challenge Thank because you. the next kind of scene is the stuff we talked about with Reem and the sw- and the swimming lessons. Yep. <laughs> and how I didn't like that Dad Bod was talking smack, and yep. you guys did. We already talked about that. Yep. We did. All right, so moving on to the game, as we call it in this house. That's because <laughs> our four and a half year old, you know, screams the game, the game every time the challenge comes on. We well, did when he was like two and three. I don't know if he did that. We anymore. didn't let him watch it. He was two. We let him watch it that one season when Excuse he was me. three. Bless you. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, um, Wendy freaks out, which puts them then behind because Joe is like, you know, balance beam beast. Um, Division one can't even do it, and Wentworth tries, and she falls and cuts her forehead. Oh my god! It's like she she skinned it. Herself. Yeah, like it's it's like a it's it's like in uh, it's like uh, it, Tommy Boy was like it's not it doesn't hurt here or here, <laughs> but right here we has a big mark across his face. It's or it's almost like Kylo Ren's scar. It's like you know down across yeah. her nose. It looks like you know when you skin your knee or your yeah. elbow, and it's like just it's just like that top layer of skin where it stings really bad when you're around things like salt water. Yeah, or sweat. Who's, who's the one who said, "Are you all right, dude"? <laughs> <laughs> Me. That's what I would totally say. Yeah. Uh, Dalton Ross actually, because the the press people like Wiggler and Ross were allowed to watch the first episode again, oh, and wow, he has wow, a video wow. on his Twitter of the I guess press's angle of her fall. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good fall. Yeah, it I mean, looking, I was like, oh, she hit the. I was like, ooh, that looks painful. <laughs> Wetwork takes hard. <laughs> 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 That's what she said. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. it goes to a puzzle, but it was a pretty, you know, it was a slide puzzle. Like I yeah. feel like it was, you know, it was one of those things that just requires teamwork. And mm-hmm. it was, it was smart when Joe was like, no, everybody, stop for a second, stop shouting, yeah. and let's take a minute and look at this. And yeah. that's kind of, I guess, was a smart way of you know, bringing it back from the chaos right. of everybody being like, we're losing it. But that's like well, you, uh, having experience, you know. Like, well, yeah. You don't want to be that tribe that has the big lead and then chokes it. And that's what happens like nearly every time. So that right. is an advantage of having a, se- a seasoned player. Like, oh, just every chill out. We got this. Yeah. I'm Joe Amazing. Back off. <laughs> but I'm not Joey Amazing I'm not anymore. Joey Amazing anymore. I'm, I'm the artist. I'm the player formerly known as Joey Amazing. Like, so don't call me. I'm surprised people recognize him with his mustache. <laughs> the I mustache is glorious. I dig it. But, um, <laughs> you know, it's, but it's, it's, Joey is this classic case of some type of celebrity that's mainly known for that one thing. But it's like t- that was 10 years ago. And they're like, well, actually, I'm not really about that anymore. Can we talk about my new project? Uh, but it's like, no, no, no. You're Joey Amazing. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You'll always be Joey Amazing to everyone. Is he like the Richard Grieco of Survivor? I'm no, because I'm did he kidding. even do anything after? Oh, anyway. <laughs> um, the, I didn't hear the last part. <laughs> I, there wasn't anything there. Uh, anyhow, oh. the Kama tribe wins. Yes, they Kama, do. Kama, 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 Kama. And, uh, <laughs> and yes, uh, Wendy back there, a little too stubborn, I think. Uh, oh we kind of talked about it a little bit already, but she kind of blew it a little bit. Yeah, So they and they try to bring Dad Bot in to be like, let's get Lauren and Wentworth out. And he is just not having it. So, I mean, Actually, good I, end. I, I think the he, wh- go ahead. I would have. I would have gotten rid of Wentworth. That's what I would have done. Yeah, just, but again, I think for the first vote, you just you let the tribe yeah, oh, yeah. mentality. Oh, yeah. Just like whatever. You don't want to be that. You don't want to be that. Like you said, you don't want to be that person. To put your neck on the line. Say, yep. Everyone's going that way. Sure, I'm yep, going to go that way. Um, I mean, it, it was a good choice because she. I, 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 I figured who said it, but, but someone said, I just couldn't spend 39 days with you. Right. And <laughs> as we saw, that was clearly a tribe decision. And she yeah, was. Yeah, dang. Like, that was. She, that was she pretty was, one-sided tribal council. She was deaf. I mean, she she went into... The, okay, so let's go... We, we kind of talked about this, too, already. Yes, yeah, so let's um, not retread. Right, including the machete thing, which I hope that there's a GIF or GIF or whatever it's called out there already of the I'm machete. Sure there is. 
um, you know, as she's screaming, I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> I'm strong. <laughs> hey, her, I've seen her arms. They do look strong. They, they are, look like, you know, some BA arms. She anyway. wasn't going to, she wasn't going to tell anybody her age. No. <laughs> You know, you're like, you're like being on Survivor. I'm not gonna tell anybody my age. Again, true. I'm, st- I'm actually 23. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like when you're like 18 and be like, I don't want to tell anybody my age. But I mean, I get it. You're worried about ageism, but there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, it just that, that may be like, like yeah, people gonna look like- at me like, oh, he definitely has kids. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got that dad beard and. And you, he just looks really tired and over it. Yeah, he, he's got. He kids. looks like he's given up on life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop it! Stop it! They oh bring my you God, joy. How much longer? Yes. <laughs> when will they move out? Uh, at at the earliest, earliest seventeen years. Hey, you'll be in your fifties. I know. Ugh. Wow, Jeez. that's fine. We lived a lot of life before we had them. All right, moving on. I remember that life. <laughs> I kind of don't either. I, I want to say we saw a lot of movies, but we've actually seen a lot of movies with them now. Because Zach, you know, would we're not. not here to talk about yeah, your we're kids. not here to talk about my kids. All right, but we do see a lot of movies. Can I go to my confessional again? Okay, so all she does is talk about her damn kids. It's like, okay, I get it. You like your kids. I do love. My I get kids. it. You're the only one that has kids. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. No, I just think they're adorable. All right, are you here, are you here she, to podcast? Are you? If here she to brings up those kids? kids one more time, I can't do it. I can't. I can't do this for thirty nine days. We all have kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. Okay, I just thought that I was. Are doing, you crying? I thought that I was doing what was best for everybody. Are you fish backing right now? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. I just, I thought you've gone full fish back. She's gone full fish back, guys. I just, I didn't, I didn't want everybody to get bored or the clothes to get wet. So I just <laughs> thought that I would just be helpful. No, I was just I, trying I, to I be like, helpful. I like, I like that Jeff called her out that she wasn't really sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're not really sorry, are you? I'm really upset that the uh, CBS marketing people didn't hashtag sorry, not sorry at the bottom of the screen well, at that point. I know. And the, and did, didn't Jeff in final tri- like tribal council just seem completely over having to do tribal council? <laughs> but I did, it was I the one that got that read on it? It's like, all right, I'm, how, I've done this I, I'm for 72 Jeff, years. I, I'm worried that Jeff is going to take that stroll down there and keep going to the – just saying I give up. Yes. I don't think so. It's like literally the only thing he does, and it makes him a lot of money for two months worth of work. Every I get year. it, but he seems way over it in this. Ep- in that, I mean, he, you go he back and watch he, it. He wasn't helping her. That's for sure. No. Well, but, I didn't get. She even, wasn't helping um, herself. Dad bod made a joke, and he didn't even like. Didn't even crack a smile. <laughs> well, it was a dad joke. But I thought it was kind of funny as a dad. With what, did, what did he say? I can't remember what he said. Like, neither can I, but I was just like, nothing. <laughs> like, somebody should do a, a video edit of, like, the joke and then just, uh, like, extend the cut of Jeff having no emotional response whatsoever. Just add well, Jeff, only smi- it. Jeff only smiles on the, peop- the people he likes. Well, Even you can tell. He, he, he calls, he calls uh, uh, Dad Bot, he calls him by his last name, Deavers, Deves. I don't know. Because I was like, who? I go, who? I go, because I had the. I'm writing notes, and I had, I had the. I go, who is he talking about? <laughs> I finally go, oh, he's calling him by his last name. Okay, got it, Jeff. Oh man, but yeah. uh, the, but, the yeah, yeah, just, whatever he was... expects happens happens. Reem's gone, even though Wendy gets some votes, um, which should kind of maybe maybe that's a wake up th- call for her. Yeah, hopefully. I think that was also their splitting the vote. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, just to, to <laughs> when, make sure. When, when did, did Reem have a chance to find the idol on someone's clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, well, that's another thing too. We didn't talk about. She's taking clothes. What if I have an idol? Yeah, and you're yeah. taking my pants that I have. Your pants Again, I understand. Like she's trying to be helpful, but it's you gotta be more self aware than that of, of other people's property. Um, I will say what we haven't talked about yet was when Wendy says that she loves Reem because she's close with her mom. <laughs> Reem just like puts her head in her hand. And and just she's like, like, I'm surrounded by freaking idiots. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not here I, to be your mommy. I, I came here not to be a mom. I didn't want people knowing I was a mom. <laughs> so, Colleen, s- if you ever get on I'm, the show, don't talk about your kids. Good luck. Um, <laughs> I'm cool. I'm so hip. Reem, I, Reem I can, gets voted out. Yeah. Uh, I think 
it's in uh, Jeff Probst's writer now that he can make the most ridiculous flame snuffer every single season. That was, was I thought it was pretty cool. The, yeah, yeah, it was, was it a, cool. a, a Tyrannosaurus a Rex's arm was it Rex? or something? I thought it was a snake. No, it was like a it was like a big claw thing. Oh, know. that's right. Yeah, I know. It was pretty cool. I thought. Yeah, Jay commented on that. Out loud. I was like, that is insane, and it's like ex- ex- crazily large. I mean, cool. it used to be. Is that a metaphor for a, something? Didn't is he compensating just, for something? Yeah. He used to be like a stick with a coconut, right? Yeah, I mean, pretty simple. It's some type of snuffer, but you know, good for them. They have more production budget now. They can uh, invest in a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex arm and some really or cool shots arm, of the moon. Know. Yeah. <laughs> So, and then we already talked about it a little bit. We'll close out with it. Yeah, but the ahead. Extinction Island, she kind of comes with a sign. And I, I loved her response. Like, hell yes, I'm going this way. You know, so I thought that was really cool. Um, and the way they shot it. Uh, and I love that we still don't really know exactly how it's going to play out. But I find it was very entertaining. Um, and is a it seems like a better play so far than Redemption Island, which was a big fat. Well, there, there's bonus apps. There's bonus uh footage of that she takes the cameraman's camera and goes around and starts filming <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to be helpful the, that's just what i do yeah, if you don't she, like it you got to tell me she thought that maybe he was tired and wanted yeah. to rest <laughs> <laughs> took his shoes took his pants <laughs> uh, but i'm wearing those <laughs> but again i think a good first episode uh and excited to see where it goes from here well, what, what do you think is going to happen with the ex- like, what do you think is going to happen? I Maybe. really hope that she goes back. Like she works hard, proves how like the strength she kept talking about. Keep and she goes back into the game and then ends up going head to head with Wentworth That'd because be I think that would be cool. And they set it up, you know, with their out of nowhere confrontation in the tribal council because that was kind of out of nowhere. It, it, yeah. Well, I think I think Wentworth I mean, was trying we, to tell it, and she just was. At first, she was like respectful. Then she said, ah, "Yeah, but Kelly, I'm not nah, Kelly seemed very like she was also over it. So I don't know what what yeah, happened." Kelly had beforehand. a lot of facial expressions during the trial. She was a lot. Maybe her face just hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. As long as it doesn't drag on and it takes like seven episodes, and then they can get back. In. Either they come back in right away, or they don't. Or I'm fine with it being just this completely side adventure that eventually maybe one of them come back in. I don't know. We'll just see. We'll see how it plays out. Um, all right. Well, that yeah. is our recap. Before we get into listener feedback, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. All right. Hopefully that was a fantastic commercial that was really riveting. It was my favorite. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Colleen, uh, let's bring up what our listeners had to say about this episode. All right. So this is exciting because, you know, people still love us. Uh, Mandy is our first email and she says, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you all back this season. I miss Survivor JJC. Hold on. Let me start that again. I miss Survivor JJC so much last season. If you were a player, let me go back to my voice. If you were a player, would you have questioned Edge of Extinction on your buff? What would you have guessed that it meant? I really like that they are setting a limit on the advantages again with a menu expiring after three votes. From what, uh, what from the menu would you order? Sorry, Jack, a pork chop wasn't an option. <laughs> Pause for laughter. <laughs> What's with your voice? Look forward to listening on the drive into work tomorrow, even though my kids are out of school for a flood day. Jay, you want to watch her kids too now? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dropping Lexi off tomorrow with his grandparents, and I'm leaving town. Not his grandparents. Why did I say grandparents? You said grandparents. It's grandparent. Oh, that's right. It's oh. just Papa. Uh, there ain't no Papa. Gigi tomorrow. Papa, 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 that's Papa. Right. Papa. How are you going to do with two of them? I have a gate. <laughs> well, Alex is kind of sick, so he's extra, like, snuggly. He's not He's not a snuggly baby at all. I'm just He wants to be, like, touch. He wants to just touch you every five minutes. Right? No. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm talking about my kids again. Let me go back. Let's just take that out. Uh, nope. Please. Staying in. No, no. Can it's we take that in. out? Yeah. It's, it's podcasting it's gold. It's podcasting gold. <laughs> it's not. I'm trying to. T- this is my editing. I'm, s- I'm setting up a narrative <laughs> for why she got booted. <laughs> <laughs> and, she said, and she claims she's a super fan. Yeah. She claims. <laughs> The whole damn time, kids, kids, kids. <laughs> um, even though my kids are out of school for a flood day, I'll send that venting to the broads next week. Oh, great. Can't wait to hear it. Thanks, Mandy. 
Uh, I think we we said it in uh, our recap, but uh, I I think the we, saving your butt is still the probably the best option. Yeah, totally. Um, and then I would actually was thinking that when she left, like, did they actually think like, what does edge of extinction mean? They did. They had that scene between Joe and yeah, somebody was talking Eric, about it. I think. Oh, I was, missed that. Yeah, they yeah, was like, they what do you think edge of extinction mean? They were talking about with a thing on their breath. It, really? Because yeah. Mandy clearly missed that as well. It was there. They talked. No, about I it. saw it. I remember seeing. They really didn't. They didn't really too much it? detail it with it, quick. but they. They did ask. Like, I wonder what that means. I wonder what it could be. And then Joe, I think Joe's like, oh, I don't know. Who knows? You never know. Oh yeah, man. All right. I'm gonna have to rewatch uh, that. I'm assuming it's one one of those earlier scenes. I'm sure you're thinking about your kids or something. I I think I was. <laughs> I might have been checking the Nest camera to check on my children, but whatever. <laughs> if my worst crime is being a mom that cares. There she goes about being a mom that cares again. All yeah, right, she's our, the only one. Our next step email is from Victoria. <laughs> Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> First off, let me say welcome back. Hello. I missed you guys so much last season. I'm happy the family is doing good and understand that parenting comes first. Oh, this email was like my density. I like how you ba- say that, like a Back to the Future <laughs> reference. You never it, even it, saw that movie before you started dating me. But yeah, but ahead. I've seen it now, and you and Zach You are have my density. It. You and <laughs> my older son have watched it. Oh, you have any more stories about? <laughs> no. I, I see the. I see the. I can see the one star review now. <laughs> uh, we did get a one star review because of Alex last season, and it was a really tough one to read. <laughs> Oh, we did? Yeah, because it was when he was screaming on that episode when Mike Bloom was on. And I had to keep, like, muting myself. Yeah, and somebody posted a one-star review about uh, having a screaming baby on a podcast. And that was one of the reasons that I, like, last season kept going back to, okay, maybe it is a good thing that we take it off. Because that, you know, was kind of... a. Like, saying that we're stupid and don't know what we're talking about is totally a valid thing to say in a one-star review. But the baby thing, I was like, oh. Anyway, <clears throat> going wait, back. Wait, 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 wait. Who knew you guys had kids? Yeah, you have kids? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, of course, I'm going for Victoria this season, based on nothing but her name. Ha, <laughs> um, It does help that she's on uh, Joe's tribe, hee <laughs> hee. This episode was okay. It was very easy to guess what was going to happen next. And who asked for this advantage? I saw it and thought to myself, why though? Uh, no, uh, why was nobody wondering where he was? Uh, because he was able to go off and look on his own, as we've talked about. Like, why didn't you just say I have to go poop? Um, <laughs> I was getting another... I was. Uh, I'm sorry. I was kind of getting another Natalie vibe and didn't appreciate how she was talking to everyone. I thought Natalie did the whole, uh, I'm old. I'm sorry. I think we're talking about Reem now. Uh, I thought Natalie did the whole, I'm old, but know what's right vibe better. Um, geez, what happened to the wise, cool, lay low old people? I miss those types. Maybe Ron will bring that this season. Also, again, I want to say I appreciate your podcast so much. Thank you. Yeah, kind of like Denise. She was a lay low, wise, cool mom. Natalie wasn't a lay low person. Yeah, she was not at all. Well, after her sister got. No, I don't think we're talking about that, Natalie. Yeah, different Natalie. Sorry. I thought it was last season's Natalie. Yeah, and last season's Natalie. Okay, yeah. Um, the one that uh, wouldn't give up her with a jacket. jacket. Ah, yes. (laughs) Yeah. Have your jacket. Yeah. Have your jacket. That was was Evangelina. Yeah. (laughs) Natalie. Natalie. Jacket. Natalie. Jacket. (laughs) No. (laughs) See, Colin, if you were in that situation, you'd say, no, my kids need this jacket. They like this jacket. (laughs) No, I would be like, my kids bought this jacket for me, so I can't give it up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, All right. Uh, Was there one more email? There was one more email. Thank you. What do we got? (laughs) All right. Our final email is from JP. Watching Reem. Oh, it's JP. We can no, All right. skip that. <laughs> Watching Reem being voted out tonight, I am glad production probably didn't allow her to take that machete to tribal. <laughs> <laughs> I think that and the twist uh, will to continue to play the game saved lives tonight. <laughs> <laughs> How dull was that machete on the first day that it had to be sharpened? <laughs> <laughs> they take out a lot of aggression with that machete. That's true. They cut a lot of bamboo. Um, all right. 
Well, thank you so much uh, to our listeners for some awesome feedback this week. Again, you can email us at SurvivorJJC at gmail.com or give us a call at 385-309-0311 or you can send an audio voicemail to that J- SurvivorJJC at gmail.com. All right. It is now time to tally the votes. Uh, let's see. First up, we have our preseason game. Um, so let's see the votes. So I'm writing it down. I should have done this before. Bad podcasting. Now I'm. So we decided that if, if you get voted out, that counts. It doesn't matter to get back in the game, right? Uh, correct. That is the, for no. the preseason pick point. That is what counts. You said that it was okay because that's what Jack and I wanted to do, and we can go back and check the tape. You said that it's wherever they finally end up. No, no, I said if if no. for the point for the pre merge merge or whatever, it's where it's they where go they get first, right? Okay, yeah. well that's what I wanted. That's what I said. No, it wasn't. Listen, why don't you go pair up with Joe and uh, Kelly Wentworth and <laughs> Aubrey, and because I don't yeah. think you were listening to me anyway. Where are we at? Who got put? Reem. <laughs> Jack said pre-merge. First one out. Jack. I guarantee. Remember I said. You I did. Guarantee, I said if they lose, she's the first one out. Uh, I'm going to give you a double point there. There you go. Uh, two towers. I love this game. Uh, Colleen uh, said pre-merge and I said pre-merge as well. Uh, so, Jack, here I'm giving you two on that one because that was a All very right. astute I'm going to reward the call on the shot there. Uh, but we all got at least one point. So we're starting off the season well. Let's see. Nice. All right. And now it is also time to pick who we think is going home next week. And then when you say who you think is going home next week, you also need to pick who is going to win the game. Um, now, this is simple. If the person you pick today makes it all the way to the end, you will be awarded 15 points. Okay. Okay. If that person gets voted out at any time, you may pick again. That second pick, if that person wins the game, will only net you five points or five tallies. Okay. All right. And if at that point that pick gets knocked out, you will have one last chance to make a pick, and then you only get one point if that person wins. Okay? Okay. All right. So, okay. Is everybody clear? Do you have any questions? Clear. Any, any issues? Okay. Nope. I'm good with that. <laughs> okay. All right. Because I don't want any whining oh, complain. and complaining later on. Okay. Anyway. Uh, Jack, we're going to start with you. What if we get – what if we get – if every week your person doesn't get voted out, you get a point. Because mm. because yeah. it because it sucks. You get your person goes all the way to final four. But that's not the, the game's not to see how oh, long your person come last. It's because who's gonna the, win. Because then someone picks second, and you see how the game's going. That's where my problem is. You see how the but game's going. It's only going. five points. If you have Still. the astute ability to pick the person Still. week one. Yeah, but my guy goes out week four, or the fourth fourth person. That's why there's the preseason picks to give you tallies. That's why there's every single episode. You all right, all right, all right. Wait, Move how on. about this? How about this? So what are there, 15 episodes per season? Yeah. So why don't you just, if your person goes out the second week, your second cho- choice gets 14 points. Like you get however many. We did that one season, you guys. Uh, no, I don't like that either because that. because it gives you an advantage because you see how the game's going. Yeah, exactly. So that's. I, yeah, that, well, I, that's, but that's how, that's how that Time goes. Out. Time out. I don't I, remember this. That's how I did it the first couple times and you both of you complained about then that's why we switched to this system no this be, is I'm, the system i am pretty sure your we are systems not, early on were just made up as they went along that's, that's what you guys complain about but Nuh-uh. this is what it's going to be i am the judge and juror this is not a democracy this is what's going to be okay I, so. it's not even a meritocracy <laughs> it's just literally like whatever jay says goes it's a dictatorship podcast i never said it wasn't uh all right uh jack you're up first i'm gonna say the central park pier goes I don't see her lasting a long time. So what's, I think she, what's her name again? Julie. Julie. Julie, thank you. And for my winner, it's funny because I have I have Division One in the final three. I mm-hmm. have Victoria in the final three. And I have and I'm looking, I go, I think I picked Julie. Julia? Did you pick Julie? Hold on, let me check. No. I, in my final three, Julia. Is it Julia? I don't even remember her being Julia, there. Julia Clark Carter. Yeah, you have her final three. 
Was she there tonight? That's Julia, isn't it? No, I Julia know, I, and I, Julia I, are two different people. Oh, yeah, you're right. And we barely saw Julia. I don't think yeah. we actually did see Julia. Because I was like going, wait a minute. I don't remember seeing her at all. She's the one that is the first one to she like her dad died and she believed in like fate. And yeah, all that, right? yeah, that's why that's why I picked yeah. her for final three. I don't remember seeing her tonight, but anyway, I'm going to take uh, well, Victoria we, is going to win this whole thing. If we barely saw her, then perhaps she does make the merge, but doesn't go all the way because we hadn't seen any like here's you know her story the whole way. But last she, last season they kind of did that and they mixed it up, and then you all of a sudden you started seeing people you hadn't. Seen. I mean, I, I was, yeah, because you also had to... I was like, wow, who was that? You're yeah. burying the edit. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, I think Victoria wins it. Victoria is your winner's pick. Okay. All right, Colleen. Oh, I just got up. another static cling. Victoria. All right. Um, is that is that a code word for child? No. <laughs> <laughs> this microphone is All like. Right, Colleen, who do you think's getting bo- uh, voted out next week? Who do I think is getting voted out next week? I think that Rick is going to go home. Rick. Dad Bob. Rick. Really? Wow, you have. We saw a lot of him tonight. We saw, I mean. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) That that could be his nickname. Heat Fresh. No, it's Dad Bod. Dad Bod. That's uh, less. That's not fair to him to say he's a horrible child molester. He has kids. Did you hear? I'm not not saying he's that. I said he looks like him. Okay, but still, that's not fair to him. Hey, hey, Dad Bod has kids. Did you hear? (laughs) <laughs> All the cool kids have kids. Uh, I did not really. I didn't, he didn't tell me You're a cool kid if you don't have kids too. Probably um, a smarter kid. Um, anyway, Colleen, who do you think is going to win it all? I am still going to go with Victoria because I genuinely Victoria. enjoyed her. Now, okay, so you and Jack we, are picking the same person to win it all. Yeah, but here's my reasoning. We saw her before we're going to the edits, and yes, I am rusty on the edits. We saw her tonight, but we didn't see anything other than a confessional from her. So they want us. They want her like in our minds. She wasn't central to the story, so to speak, the way that like Eric uh, was. Um, which I'm assuming Eric is going to go far because we had that scene with him and Gavin. But we saw a little bit of Victoria and we didn't see anything else beyond that. And I think that that means she's going far and they, you know, we're getting some kind of at least post merge, if not winners at it. Okay. Um, Fair enough. I think Wendy is going home. I think uh, there, I mean, we're going to have like that tribe lose seven in a row. I Probably. Think. I uh, mean, if you don't I, have Joey I, amazing, you're going to lose. But you know, I, I'm going to tell you, I, I don't know if that's a good pick because it always gets, you always think, okay, it's going to be the person who got the next highest votes and something happens on that. Tribe. That's true. That's true. But I, I'm, I'm thinking it's textbook there. And I say that my pick, the handsome 34 year old firefighter, Eric. Uh, is gonna you're win it picking all. a younger person. He's, just, he's your age. Oh, no, you're 35. <laughs> oh, you're old. I'm still 33. I got my whole life ahead of me, but you. <laughs> Only for another five weeks, buddy. Dang. <laughs> I'm married to a mid 30s. All right. Woman. All right. Moving on. <laughs> and I have kids. Not uh, sure if you heard. Okay. That is it. That is the binding. You can't change it now. And uh, we'll see who wins uh, for the rest of the season. Um, all right, that'll do it for this first uh, post episode episode of this season of Survivor. J. Jack and Colleen. Uh, am I voted off? Like, are we really doing this bonus content? No, it's oh. just in good fun. Well, you know. But uh, our honorary first extinct island member is uh, Colleen. <laughs> you get it for this episode. Perhaps Zach and I will record his thoughts, and I will put it as a patron <laughs> bonus. We'll see. Poopy <laughs> um, head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but uh, give us a call at 385-309-0311. Call me time. I uh, can also send an email to SurvivorJJC at gmail.com. Join our Facebook group at facebook.com. Such groups at J and Jack Group. Thanks to our patrons, especially Tack from Tokyo, Eckhart Richter, Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with the plan, and Ed the Creepy Mailman. And? Uh, and am I missing one? 
Chris Drake. Oh, Chris Drake. You're right. I, I was oh, thinking we, we would call him the Drake because that was from Seinfeld. The Drake? Sure. When the, the, we'll remember, workshop it, but I'm remember, down with the, the Drake. Remember they get Drake a present for his, his... Oh, yeah. And then he ends up getting... And they said, hate the Drake. Yes, that's right. Well, you don't Drake. want it to be a negative thing. No, no. I'm not, we're not saying hate the Drake. Because at first they were calling him the Drake. The, mm-hmm. They called him the Drake. And then after that, they said they hate the Drake. Well, we'll start with the Drake, Drake and then the, we'll the, see. The drag. There's a lot of stuff we could do. Yeah. Well, we'll start. Thank you, Drake. Yes. Thank you, Drake. So thank you, Maggie and Joanne and Drake and Ed and Tack and Eckhart. And all of our patrons. You can find a full list at janejack.com as well as click on that Become a Patron link button. You like, you like my comment? Great. One more name I have to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy um, old man, cranky old man yells at clouds. It's, uh, it's a hallmark of the Jane Jack Network. Mm-hmm. We have our own cranky old man, and now we've got an old lady that's a mom. So we're really <laughs> filling out these Wait, demographics. I was podcasting. I didn't want people to know I was old. Oh crap! I'm sorry, oh Jack. no! Oh I blew man! It. I blew it. Nope. I'm just going to sharp my machete. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On that note, everybody, we'll see you get sent to ext- <laughs> Extinction Island next week. Uh, Until then, hasta luego and goodbye. Peace out. Bye.